Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is Friday afternoon, and you know what that means. It's time for Corey Comments On. I'm your host, Corey McKnight, and I hope that you join me every Friday at 2 and 5 p.m. for the show right here on All Western New York Radio. Thanks for being with me here today. Uh, how's everybody doing out there on this lovely Friday, February 16th, 2018? It is National Do a Grouch a Favor Day out there in the U.S., which is interesting, to say the least. Um, I guess you're supposed to do something nice for the local neighborhood grouch, maybe the old guy down the street that uh, tells you to keep off his lawn all the time when you walk by. Buy him a bottle of liquor or something. Do something nice. Um, or, if you want, you can really do a grouch a favor and send money to at all WNY Corey on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter. I'll give you the uh, the details to uh, wire me money, and you'll really be doing a grouch a favor. Probably the preferred method of celebrating today. It's also National Tartar Sauce Day, but I don't really care about that because tartar sauce is terrible. Gross. Ugh, nasty. Maybe you're a fan. Maybe you're going to get that filet of fish later with uh, tartar sauce all over it at McDonald's going through the drive through but I would suggest you skip it for more reasons than one. One, tartar sauce is nasty, and two... It's leading into what I want to talk about today. I'm the king of segues, right? King of segues. But uh, another kind of food-related topic, I talk about food all the time, but food is life. Food and sports, that's all you really need. But forget sports today. It's just food. My topic is the fact that Weight Watchers is offering a free program for teens in the UK. Uh, now, quickly, shout out to Ryan Grunett from the Struggle is Real podcast right here on All Western New York Radio for the idea. I saw him share an article about this uh, the other day, and it kind of caught my interest, and I figured I'd talk about it today on the show. So, Weight Watchers, free for teens in the UK. Sounds okay, right? I mean, a free program, whatever, it's supposed to help them. I don't know, not so fast. Reading quickly here. A controversial free Weight Watchers scheme for teenagers sends a negative message to young people and could lead to them becoming fixated with dieting, the Professional Association for UK Dietitians has warned. Teenagers aged 13 to 17 will be eligible to sign up for the No Fee Weight Watchers initiative this summer, but body image campaigners argue that it could increase the risk of young people developing eating disorders. Weight Watchers' current rules state that children need to be 13 years old and accompanied by a parent or guardian to join. Their target weight must also be set by their doctor and must be reviewed by the doctor every six to nine months to make sure that they're not losing weight too quickly. It's a key part of it right there. The child must also be at or above the 95th percentile for their age and gender. The plan program has caused controversy in the U.S., however, with critics voicing their disapproval using the hashtag WakeUpWeightWatchers on social media. Some have accused the U.S. company of predatory marketing and suggest it could be dangerous for some young people to participate in the program. Now I see both sides of this here. After uh, after reading that, doing some research on this, I can see both sides of the issue here, which I, I try to stay neutral until I have more facts when it comes to any type of issue like this, some kind of controversy. I'm pretty I'm pretty much in the middle here. I can see the fact that there's no doubt that obesity is an epidemic in the U.S. and the U.K. You don't have to be a scientist or a dietitian to know that. It's an epidemic. Obesity is uh, increasing at epic proportions, especially for young people here in the U.S., the U.K., and around the world, any developed country, really. Uh, Programs like Weight Watchers, they exist for a reason, or like Jenny Craig or like any of these weight loss things. Uh, I can't even think of any other ones. But the reasons aren't always to help people reach their ideal weight or whatever, lose, lose weight. I'm wondering how much these companies are profit versus progress. If you know what I mean, how much do they want to take your hard earned dollar in order to provide you some kind of service that's supposed to help you? Probably quite a bit. I mean, it's a huge company. Weight Watchers has been around forever. They got their, uh, Food in supermarkets now, you can find like little frozen stuff that's Weight Watchers, all kinds of things. So they're all over the place, which is good, I guess, because their message is to watch your weight (laughs) pretty much and uh, record calorie intake and to exercise and whatever. And that's good. That's part of the things that we need to do to uh, battle this epidemic of obesity. But profit versus progress. They want your money. They don't necessarily care about your progress. I mean, maybe they'll, maybe they'll say they'll do, but they're uh, they're really out there for the big almighty dollar like most huge companies like that. 
So for this advertising for the, the free Weight Watchers for teens in particular, I'm not so fast personally to condemn the whole advertising campaign and their whole company just because of this, but I do see the potential dangers. Kind of see both sides of it here. But teens with a body image disorder are constantly being bombarded with all kinds of advertising. It's not just these, you know, stuff to try to help you like Weight Watchers, all kinds of negative things too, and some other things that are good that may end up not being so good. But it's all up to you at the end of the day, how you harness that information they give you, how much you follow the program, and making healthy decisions that are just common sense, pretty much. Speaking of common sense, what I want to really focus on, other than just the program for teens and that it might, you know, send the wrong message that you need to lose weight if you're between 13 and 17, I want to just look at the eating habits of the typical American or UK person, whatever. Next time you're at Walmart, check out the basket of the person that's in front of you. Take a look if they have a, a good amount of groceries and look at how much processed, sugary, salty, frozen, terrible food is in that cart. I guarantee it's not healthy stuff. I mean, you might find the odd person that buys organic or whatever, which isn't necessarily even any more healthy, by the way. It's just like fashionable, trendy. But it's probably not going to be a healthy collection of groceries. Uh, lots of sugar. Lots of, lots of, lots of sugar. I love sugar, but that is one of the biggest culprits in uh, the obesity epidemic for our kids especially. They're constantly eating sugar in everything that they have. Big one here, fast food. It's pretty easy to pick on fast food. I mean, there's been all kinds of uh, debate over the years about that. The movie Super Size Me, if you ever saw that, even though it wasn't like a real realistic, you know, depiction of living off fast food, which some people kind of do. Stuff like that. Um, it's pretty easy to target fast food companies for their uh, their food, especially because it's usually very low quality. But why don't we condemn their predatory advertising? Forget Weight Watchers. They're trying to offer a service that may help you. McDonald's not trying to help you. They're trying to hurt you. They want to feed you, but they're feeding you garbage. When you hear McDonald's advertisements on the radio, on TV, whatever, they literally theme their advertising to certain demographics, like, shamelessly. I mean, all companies do that, but sometimes it's more subliminal than others. McDonald's, in particular, shameless. If you listen to the radio driving around, you will hear these, I don't even know how to explain it, but I listen to the local rap radio station, 103.9 WDKX, best station in Rochester, and they, particularly on that station, will play urban-themed McDonald's commercials where it's like, yo, it's lit, bro, at McDonald's, come and check out that new 99-cent menu, bro, and it's like a rap beat in the background and, you know, a bunch of people with their urban-themed lingo and language. That shit is crazy. I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. They are pandering and preying on a certain demographic because... As we know, there is a McDonald's on almost every corner, especially in lower income areas. And that's who they want to target to come in and eat their food with the I'm loving it. And it's like, you know, the contraction, they can't even put the G on fucking loving because it's got to be urbanized. It's got to be hip so that people will come and eat our trash food. I can't stand that shit. Um, they recently did ax the cheeseburger from their Happy Meals. And they've done some other stuff in the past, McDonald's has, to try to offer more healthy options, even though they need to bring back the salad shaker. That thing was fucking amazing. Bring back the salad McShaker, McDonald's, even though that's not healthy either. It was just good. I want that back, personally. But taking the cheeseburgers out of the Happy Meals, for me, it won't do much. Adding apples as a side, it won't do much, because you're still going to McDonald's to eat. And there's all kinds of unhealthy menu options that are at your disposal. Now it's up to you if you're going to eat those unhealthy options or get the uh, the side of apples or whatever for your kid. But the main point I'm trying to make here is that we need to change the way that we eat before we change the way that we lose weight. So before you pick on the dieting companies or, you know, whoever might be out there who do try to, in all honesty, somewhat scam you for your hard-earned dollar to provide a service... We got to look at these other real scams out here. Big corporations, McDonald's, fast food, um, 
Dunkin' Donuts with their must-have drink of the season that's all sugar and stuff because it's like a fashion statement. Carrying around your Starbucks cup or your Dunkin' Donuts cup with your huge caramel latte or whatever that's full of sugar, it's a fashion accessory for most that are like in, especially in this teenage age range they're, they're marketing to here with Weight Watchers. 13 to 17, they're addicted to those fucking things and they're gaining weight and they're addicted to McDonald's and they're gaining weight and they eat quick on the go all the time, always running around, don't exercise too much. That's why they're gaining weight. Obesity is an epidemic. But we need to change the way that we eat. I'm not so quick to say that Weight Watchers is trying to do damage or pandering or whatever, preying on teenagers because they want to give them a free membership. After all, it's a free membership. And they have to be with their parents, and they have to check with their doctor. So there is precautions going into this. I think that we really need to focus more on the predatory advertising of the food companies and at the grocery store, too. Everything that's on sale is garbage. Got to eat a little bit healthier out here, America, UK, whoever. Anyway, is Weight Watchers preying on teens with body image issues? What do you think? Would you let your teen participate in a program like that? Let me know. Um, and are there any other examples you can think of of predatory marketing, whether it be food or whatever, tobacco especially, things like that? Let me know. Hit me up on Twitter at AllWNYCorey, and we will talk all about it. Anyways, guys, have an awesome Friday. Thank you for joining me here today, and I will see you next week. Corey McKnight, signing off. See you.